Hello and welcome back to you in the new lesson. This is Lakshmi Kantiwari. In this lesson, we will program a DC which will read the analog channel 0 and will display the result at the port B. Okay? So let's start writing the code into the Atmel Studio. So the first of all, the dot include. Sorry. Sorry dot include m32 definition dot inc file oops and then dot org 0 x 0 0 and then initialize the stack pointer let's first to make a intendation here the two tab line okay and then LDI R16 with the high payment and then out to the step point high this R16 and then LDI R16 low payment then out SPL R16. The step pointer has been initialized. Now let's uh, initialize the port A and the port B. Port A is an input. So the first uh, LDI R16 with the 0xff and then out to the DDRB R16 means the port B as output and then LDI R16 again and 0x00 zero zero and <coughs> out it to the DDR R16 okay so the port A has been initialized as the input and port B has been initialized as the output port okay so now initialize the our ADC okay so the first now let's specify first the property of the our ADC what we need to do here to the first initialize our ADC now we need to initialize the ADMUX register okay so select the channel 0 so for the channel 0 we have to initialize this 5 bit to the 0 so the 0 0 0 0 and the 0 now let's make the right adjustment for the right adjustment this bit should be the 0 now select the internal 2.56 volt reference for the internal reference these two bits should be equal to 1 so if this bit equal to 1 these two bit equal to 1 and other bit equal to 0 that's mean we need to store how much in the ADMAX these four lower bits 0 okay and these upper bit to 1 and uh, these two bit is the 0 that's mean the 0 0 1 1 8 plus 4 is equal to the 12 and the 0 0 okay so the 12 means the C we need to store the C and the 0 into the ADMAX okay so the let's first uh, LDI R16 with the 0 X C0 and then out this value into the AD max and uh, R16 okay now let's see for the ADC SRA now in the ADC SRA we need to enable our ADC okay so the make this bit 1 and now we are only initializing ADC so there is no need to set this bit okay so set this equal to the 0 there is no automatic triggering so set this bit equal to the 0 and this bit will automatically enable okay at the when interrupt will uh, when the conversion will complete so these four bit will be then equal to the zero 
okay so the one sorry this three bit equal to the zero and this bit will be the one okay so these upper four will be equal to eight okay because of that one zero 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 so in the hexadecimal it will be equal to the eight and then now this is the interrupt enable so we are not using the interrupt in the ADC so make this bit equal to the zero and now let's select the ADC prescaler okay make these three bit one 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 and this equal to the zero so these four is equal to the seven and these upper four is equal to the eight so store the 87 into the ADC yes sorry so the LDI R16 0x 87 and then out this value ADC yes R A R16 now we have initialized our ADC now we start our ADC first okay so we start ADC here what we need the set bit okay set bit which bit of the ADCSRA register the ADSC bit okay so the ADC will start here now pull here at this point keep pulling now what we are doing here see now we are checking whether our in our conversion has been completed or not okay so we are checking with the let's first make a ADC SRA okay at the ADIF bit we are checking ADIF bit of the ADC SRA okay and if it is equal to the zero keep pulling here okay so if it is equal to zero so and if it is not equal to zero please don't pull and go ahead so skip if it is set okay so we can set the s b i s okay so here the skip bit set that's mean if adif is set we will skip the next instruction and the next instruction is nothing it's it's only the rjmp to the keep pulling okay that means if adif will be set we will exit from this loop and if adif is not set then this instruction will not skip this one that's mean it processor will execute this instruction and we will loop means the processor will loop in these two instructions okay now the clear adif so the sbi set bit of the adc sra the adif okay so clear the adif now read the uh, now read the lower uh, lower registers okay and that is the uh, adcl okay so in let's say into the r16 this adcl okay and put this uh, adcl add to the port b okay the r16 now we have read our uh, we have read our uh, lower 8 bit and uh, but uh, in the previous lecture i have already told you if you are reading a first adcl then you have to read adch otherwise this register will be locked down okay so just read adch and discard that value okay the read in the r16 adch okay and now there is no need to give to the output give to the output port this adch now just come to at this point start adc again okay so the rjmp relative jump to the start adc okay now our code has been completed let's uh, uh, build it okay 
So zero failed, zero is skipped. That's a fine, fantastic. Now let's simulate it into the Proteus. Okay, give the program file first. Sorry, I don't know what is <laughs> what is wrong here. Okay, documents and then Atmel Studio six and the ADC debug dot hex file. The first make this voltage a lower bit, uh, a, a little bit lower. So the make this is a plus 0 0.5 volt. Okay, because of that we have said the internal reference is the 2.56 volt, and also we are discarding upper two bits. That's when we are dividing by four. Okay, so the maximum saturation value uh, would be around the 0.5 volt. Okay, so the make it to the 0.5 volt and then fine now we fine okay now the run it let's wait now everything is the zero zero the final is the zero zero and let's change it little bit yeah fine so Thank you so much for watching and uh, if you have any doubt please comment below and in the next tutorial uh, we will use this ADC result to generate a programmable sinusoidal wave.